Well, so far, uh, the resident electoral commissioners, the names have been sent to the Senate. Uh, those who are supposed to be confirmed as ministers, names have been sent and confirmed. And uh, many would then wonder, where then do you predicate what you say that governance is being affected? Look, don't take the situation we are in now in isolation. Take it from before the president became ill. How long before you had ministers? It affected the economy directly. Well, How, we I mean, have no ambassadors we, we, till we, now. We may not They're talking back and forth. You know, Taking it from then may not suffice because right now uh, the concern is if the president, as the Minister of Information did brief, missed that meeting based on the doctor's advice, does that then mean that, okay, yes, he's missed a couple of meetings. Does that mean that governance is suffering? So if we can't say governance is in any way affected, shouldn't we... Governance is affected. Wouldn't you be making a matter of... Governance is affected. Uh, you haven't told us how governance is affected. I just told you. Look, for instance... You're talking about then. No, 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 no. Look, look, it's getting worse. And it's going to get worse. For every day that the president does not attend... A, a meeting of the executive, federal executive, what do you think foreign investors are thinking? They're thinking this country doesn't well, have well, a president. Well, one of their heads. No, 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 no. Look, I'm an analyst and you are one too. You know, this thing affects the image of the country. All of these things affect the image of the country. Don't think people are not watching. Why do you think that the foreign investment has gone down. Why do you think the economy is so weak? It's all the things that have happened. And the president's health and absence from the job is certainly affecting every aspect of governance. What options do we have? Options. If the president doesn't resign, if he doesn't step aside, we continue to suffer until the National Assembly realizes that it must step up, that the judiciary realizes also that it has a responsibility to the Nigerian people and say to the president, Mr. President, we cannot continue this way. Something must be done. Well, if you look at that uh, previous report on what happened previously before the last FEC meeting, he had briefings as this minister spoke about. Did you miss that part earlier? All these people have come to report on their meeting with the president. We did not elect President Buhari to talk to people, to talk to us. We elected the president to communicate with the Nigerian people. Since he has been back, he has not been able to do so. All of these reports, to me, are just fabrications. i tell you why. When Yaradua was sick, this is the same thing we were getting from government officials. For months, they kept saying, the president is okay, the president said this, the president said that, whereas it was the president's wife and members of the cabal that were ruling us. We did not vote for these people to rule this country. We voted for Muhammadu Buhari. He should be accountable to the Nigerian people. The Calabar Itu Road project was... was um was of course uh, uh, that that contract was approved by the president. Which contract? The Calabar Itu Road. <laughs> How do you know it was approved by the president? Did it was you there, see the president's signature? It was signature? There in the media. Look, the president. Have you been Have you been ill to the point where you cannot even pick up the phone? Is you that, cannot talk is that on the phone. how ill the president is? The president is not talking to us. Why can't he have a press conference? Why can't he say to the Nigerian people, I am not feeling very well, but on this issue, a 10-minute briefing. Uh, We're so, not getting it. But, but people are telling us that the president said this, and president said that. And that's what we're saying. We're not having governance. Dr. We Pierce, don't have a if, presidency if I, right if now. If I could butt in if there. If the secretary just, just hang on of a minute. state... If I could butt in there, because, you know, when you say... Um, the minister is speaking to us. We did not elect the president to do that. But people will tell you, you know how government works. You don't expect the president not to have ministers who can 
function and carry out those duties he clearly can't be everywhere that's why he's got those he people. can speak and everywhere that's always the way it is he can't speak everywhere but he can speak somewhere but then he not spoken the, the second part of it is what do you then say to those who think you just seem to be political about this because you haven't in any way shown concern for the health of the president you just want him to resign even though no law has been violated and I love governance the, has not been shown to suffer. I love the president, but I love Nigeria more. That's what I'm saying. And I love the president by advising him to step aside and not continue. So even if Nigerians to undermine who equally love the president are showing concern, and you love Nigeria by extension, Nigeria. I love Nigeria more. I love the president concern? too, but I love Nigeria more. And I love myself more. But at the moment... And under, right now what is going on, the president's inability to govern is undermining things. Things were bad before. They're getting worse now. I said it before, I'll say it again. We have precedents. What we are going through now is what we went through with Yaradwa. The same did, thing did, is Did you speak on. up about that time? The about about what went on with Yaradwa? You didn't. If you had invited me, I would have said the truth as I saw it. But we don't, I have, always to, do. we, we don't have to invite you for you to issue statements <laughs> no, or no, speak no, to no. somebody somewhere, well, as you just said. That's that. the position that I always take, the truth. Look, let me tell you, exactly what is going on now, you remember, is what went on with Yaradwa. Some people said, it's okay. We said... This man is not okay. But many would disagree with you, saying that when the president traveled the last time he transmitted and the VP was in that capacity as acting president, law were fulfilled. Previously, with yeah, the, and that you know wasn't what the case. You know so what they happened? say those are two separate situations. This is situations. what happened when he traveled and the VP was acting in his capacity, I believe, as... Acting president. Acting, he was acting president. He was acting president. Well, uh... The economy began to turn around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the man traveled, the vice president, uh, Oshibaju, was able to go to places and engage people. This is what the president what, must do. What would you say to people and, who say... And, and they brought the president what back would you say to, to people? stop Oshibaju's popularity because they felt that this is cabal. Is it's not what, that what, what would you say, what, it is. What would you say to people who consider me, your Nigeria speech as saying. hate speeches right now? What would you say to people who consider your speeches, your submissions, as hate speeches? What? What's the submission? Your submission that the president should resign, for example? It's my opinion. And it is what I think most Nigerians are saying. I'm saying that you cannot continue to be out of your job and keep the job. Knowing that the chances of coming back may be there, but for this long, we are beginning to see signs. Again, we have an example of the past. This is what happened with President Yaradua. Even though you don't speak I'm from the perspective of any medical information. No, this I'm speaking as just an observer. Right. That when the president is incapacitated, his people will continue to lie to us that everything is okay until one day we hear that things are really worse than they said. And then right. what I am saying, what people are saying out there will not be eventually validated. What people are saying out there, is it predicated on any medical fact? No, it is so predicated you, you on what run. we see. All right, Dr. We Dr. see Dr. what is going on and we are not happy with it. And we right. are going to see that just like it happened with Yaradua, that they've been lying to us, that all is well. President said this, whereas the president didn't say anything to them. Even though that's what you think? I believe so. All right. Dr. Pierce, uh, thank you for talking to us this morning. Thanks for having me.